Now, now that we made all these, oh, forgot one thing. Uh, we did make a layer called loft hidden. That's going to indicate the from the first floor what is above your head. Okay, so we can do that by just selecting the loft layers right there, and then copying it. Copy, or CO is a shortcut for copy, or you could go to that um, copy uh, icon and go from a known point, which is maybe the corner of the building, to the corner of the building down here. Enter, okay? And that'll give us, whoops, there's some lines missing. I guess we'll draw that in. Whoop. Before we do that, let's turn it to the uh, loft hidden layer, and then draw a line, L for line, or you could go to line, or polyline, I guess, and that command's been shown before, and go ahead and draw that line right there. For this one, I guess I could just extend this one over. And of course, I'm gonna take these guys and turn it into the hidden layer. And right now, it's not really showing it as a hidden line unless you get really, really close, okay? So it doesn't look like a dashed line right there. But if you take it to the layout space, if you look at it in the layout space, it kind of self-corrects that uh, line space according to the um, viewport layer scale that you have set up. Okay, so at the viewport layer, this is going to be um, showing as such. If, you, if we selected a different line type, um, it will show it will show other different scales, but for now, let's keep it at that. I think I forgot to do this line right here, so I'll go in there. I'll double click into the into the viewport and go ahead and match the properties of this to that, and escape. Click outside the viewport, and that has um, that's changed to the layers that I want. So this line dash line right here indicates this loft uh, floor up above when you're on the first floor. Okay, so, so this helps to relate your first floor plan to your second floor plan. All right.